thank you, Mandy, for being here today. I'm so excited. Yeah. I love I love you guys. Yeah, and I'm loving the book. So can you describe to people at home what yoga philosophy is? Um, well, basically, the the original routine is a hybrid yoga routine, which pairs a yoga pose with a toning exercise, um, and um, you know, essentially, it's so that you can really start wherever you are. I really wanted to bridge um, the gap between fitness meets yoga. I wanted to make it like a yoga workout. Yeah. So that's like the basis of like that's the basic workout in my book. And then the yoga philosophy, you know, the philosophy part of it is really just um, learning how to love your body into shape. I think that that old way of beating ourselves up to get into shape, I don't think, I, I think that that's just an old model. Yeah, know? exactly. And there's a lot more in the book besides just yoga poses. There's journaling exercises and different eating plans, and it's really adaptable too. So why was it important to you to make a book and a plan that a lot of different people could kind of adapt to their lives? Well, I mean, first of all, to, so that a lot of people could use the book, yeah. but also because for me, I actually am motivated by different things on a daily basis. I don't do things the same, you know, I don't do the same thing in the same way every single day. Right. So I wanted to give people the flexibility to um, be their own, you know, authority, mm -hmm. you know, so it has like a yoga pose of the day, a yeah. cardio activity, a t um, a different playlists and recipes and you know, all everything's really movable and optional. Yeah. But it's just sort of to develop that like healthy mindset. Exactly. And I think people would be really surprised to know that you went through a phase where you were pretty unhealthy and overweight. So what was the turning point for you yeah. to decide to sort of get in shape and take a new approach to life? Well, you know, I actually started off like so hard on myself that that I had, there was a backlash for that. So I was yeah. so I was so into like being a certain way that then when when I let go of that, you know, I, I actually had an injury. I, and and I started going crazy with my diet and I basically, you know, gained 50 pounds and I remember I was probably too thin before you yeah. know and then I was too heavy and I remember um, I went on a trip to Europe where I was of course the best place to be overeating <laughs> <It's> <laughs> and true. I just I would only wear pajamas you know because yeah. I just couldn't even fit into my clothes anymore and I couldn't stand looking at myself and so one day I I just decided to take a look at myself I didn't feel good anymore yeah. you know and I just I got naked woo naked <laughs> and um, <laughs> and um, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like okay this is me and I, I started to accept that and go okay I can still see my frame and my body underneath the layers so yeah. I know that my body that I my perfect body is still in the room it's just underneath a layer or two and so I started I just held that in my mind's eye and I just started being nice to myself yeah and making better choices yeah and you've got a lot of prominent clients I think a lot of people know you best as Jennifer Aniston's yoga instructor yes I'm so lucky I love her so yeah. much we is, all there, love her. is there anything that you've maybe taken away from her being her teacher all this time that she's taught you oh wow I mean so many <laughs> things she's such an amazing positive force you know I think that that actually you know that you can that that um, empowering others is very empowering yeah. you know she's everyone around her is extremely empowered and she's a very like she's a very generous positive person so it really um, that's really contagious and so I try to you know for myself to staying positive you know reinforcing that positivity all the time um, it doesn't take away anything from anybody else you know to really love yourself and to just show up, you know, right. so I try to do that myself. Yeah, and with summer around the corner, I think a lot of people are trying to start a new diet or workout plan, but I think the biggest obstacle a lot of the times is, like you said, kind of beating yourself up when you miss a workout or right. have that cupcake. How do you get out of that mindset? Um, you know, it's a really, it's it's a really day by day process. You know, you just start over again each day. Like if you, you know, if you have a cupcake or whatever, um, then the next, you know, you just start fresh. You don't yeah. skip a meal to punish yourself. You just, feed, you know, drink extra water and just start over again the next day. You know? right. Words to live by. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by today. It was a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. And Yoga Philosophy is in bookstores now.